You can do a lot with Component Creator with just the basic functionality, but they also give you a ton of advanced functionality to really build some interesting components. The most powerful part of Component Creator, in my opinion, is the huge list of field types. There are some really powerful field types that go beyond the basic fields and offer some really interesting functionality. So let's take a look at a few of those. First is subforms, which we touched on earlier. So let's go and add a new field. So let's add a field called awards. And this is a way to select awards that the movie has earned. Under our field type for awards, let's go down and let's find our subform field type. And then our description will say select the awards this movie has earned. Under subform, we need to select one of our subforms. So we created the awards subform. Now, multiple here is this gives us the ability to select multiple options in the subform. So that's where the real power comes into play. Uh, we can add multiple awards within this single movie database table without having to have a, a separate cross reference table with our list of awards. So let's go ahead and select multiple here. And we'll just leave this as the default, the buttons that are available, add, remove, and move. And then subform layout, we'll just leave it as repeatable. Now we do want to show this on the form view. Uh, we don't need to make it required. So we'll just leave that alone. And then on the list view, we, again, we don't need to show that. So we'll save that. Now, one thing you'll recall, we didn't actually add any fields to our awards subform. So let's go back. If we go back under com underscore movies, and we we'll click on our subforms tab. And then if we click on the awards subform, it gives us our list of fields. Well, we don't have any fields for this subform yet. So let's go ahead and add a new field and we'll just call it um, award. And our type, we'll just give it a text field. And we'll save that. And then next, We'll add uh, date one. So this is this will just be the date that the movie won this award. So we'll click again, do our calendar date selector field type, and then we'll save that. So now we we've got a form within our form or a subform. So within the movies form, we have an awards subform that you can add multiple awards to the movie. Again, just really useful, really incredible functionality built right into Component Creator. Um, and so it's, it's just a really useful way to add uh, that kind of a functionality. There are also some other really interesting field types. Let's take a look at some of those. So let's go back into our, our movie table. Uh, let's add a new field, although we're not really going to add a field, we're just going to look at the field types. So one of my favorites is this SQL field type. Select a list of rows from the database. So here you just enter a query, so you can say select star from uh, content. So just it'll just bring a list of all the articles. Uh, you can select your key field as your ID, and then your value field is what gets displayed. Uh, and the value field, we can just call it title. And what that'll do is that'll pull up a select list of all of the articles from the content table uh, where the ID or the, the key value of the select list option is going to be the ID from the table. And then the value that gets displayed to the user is the title of the article, again, from the table. So useful, so handy. Uh, it just gives you a way to basically pull in a list of items from another table within your database. Again, the user can select multiple items from the list. Just a really useful option, a really useful field type for adding that kind of a functionality. Another really cool field type that I really like is the, the component layout. Now what that does, you're going to have to add some extra code to make this work, uh, but that's, this gives the user the ability to select 
a custom layout for the component. So when, whenever you create a menu item, generally it, it pulls in from the view. They can create a custom layout within their template to override that view. And so that's just really useful. Uh, so you select the name of the extension. So in this case, it's com underscore movies. And then our view is just movie. So again, that's just really useful, uh, really helpful functionality. The next field type is one of my favorite field types. It's called the foreign key field, and it provides a way to tie one table to another table. Now, you can tie any table in Joomla to your table. You could use an existing table, or you can use a custom table that you add to your project. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So let's go ahead and close out of this. So let's go back to our movies component. And let's add another table. So let's say new table. And since we're dealing with movies, a, a logical field that we might add is a director field. So let's create a table to store our directors. So we'll call it directors. And we'll just leave all of the defaults. We don't need a list view on the front end, uh, but we do want to have admin views so we can actually manage our directors table. So we'll create our table. So we have all the standard fields in here. Let's just go ahead and leave those. We'll have one more field for the director's name. And we'll make this field required. And we'll show it on our list view and we'll include it in text-based searches. The field type here is just a text field. And we'll leave all that as default and we'll save that. And so now we have our directors table with all of our standard fields plus a name field. So now if we go back to our movie table, so let's go ahead and edit our director field. Instead of using just a plain text field, uh, we can actually tie that to our directors table. So let's change the field type from text field to a foreign key field. Then let's go change the options here. So let's select our table that we want to tie it to. So we'll select our director's table. Our key field is the ID field, and then our value field, or the field that gets displayed in the uh, select list, is gonna be name. Now here you can actually allow to choose multiple directors. Since most movies only have one director, we'll just leave that as a single. Uh, and then you have all the same options over here that you have with other fields. Uh, you can make it required. Uh, you can show it in your list view options. Let's do that. Um, we can add a filter for this field as well. So that might be interesting. And so what the foreign key field does is it provides you a select list of items from the table that you selected. So what this is going to do is it's going to show us a list of items from our director's table. Now the key is going to be the ID, and that's what gets stored in our movie table uh, as the foreign key. And then the field value is what gets displayed in that select list for you to choose from. And then once we have that, we can save it. updated our director field to use the foreign key field type. Now, the last field type that I want to show you is the category field. Now, this field really provides a lot of power out of the box because what it does, it's the mechanism that actually ties your component and your table to Joomla's categories component. So we'll just call this the field name cat ID, since that's what we're actually dealing with is the category ID. So for our label, we'll call it category. And then here, all we've got to do is select the category field type. And then component creator handles the rest. Now you can actually select multiple categories. We'll just leave it at one category just to keep it simple. We do want to show it on a list view. 
category be our label for the list view, and then we'll add a filter so that we can filter by category. So we save that. And we've successfully saved our new category. So we're ready to go there.